How to Solve Compound Inequalities, Part 1, and Inequalities. So first I'm going to give you just some examples about and inequalities. You don't have to write anything down or take notes on this. When it is time to take notes, I'll let you know. Okay? Alright, so first let me give you an example of an and inequality. We have x is greater than or equal to negative 5 and x is less than 7. So this is telling you two different things about some variable x. We know that it is greater than or equal to negative 5, and it's also less than 7. Since this inequality is separated by the word and, we know it is an and inequality. We can rewrite this inequality as one compound inequality by putting the x in the center and rewriting this negative 5 and 7 on the other side of it. Negative 5 something x something 7. So we know x is greater than or equal to negative 5, so we can rewrite our symbol. We just have to switch it because we switched the order. And then x is less than 7. We don't have to do anything there because we didn't switch the order. This is our compound inequality. One inequality telling us two things about some number x. Now we want to talk about how to graph this inequality. To do so, we first need our number line. There's our number line. And we want to label it. I'm going to label it by 10, or I'm sorry, by 5. So I'm going to start at negative 10, negative 5, 0, 5, and 10. First, I'm just going to graph this first inequality. And I'm going to do that in blue. In blue. So in blue, I'm going to graph this x is greater than or equal to negative 5. So we know, and I'm going to do it above the line, x is greater than or equal to, so I'm going to have a full filled in circle at negative 5. Filled in, it's greater than or equal to, so we know it's going to go on forever in that direction. x is greater than or equal to negative 5. I'm going to do the same thing for in pink for this equation. So at 7, I'm going to draw another dot, but this one is not going to be filled in because x is less than 7, not less than or equal to. And it's less than, so it goes on forever in that direction. So we are going to combine these two inequalities. We're going to combine the blue line and the pink line, graph the compound inequality, and I'm going to do that in this purple color. So we drop our lines, our dots down, open circle at 7, filled in circle at negative 5. And now I'm just going to make this line a little thicker for us. And we can just draw a nice thick line on the number line to represent that x is any number in between those two dots. So this graph, this purple line on the number line, is telling us that negative 5 is negative, I'm sorry, <coughs> negative 5 is less than or equal to x, which is less than 7. Okay? Nice job. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to show an example of how you solve an inequality. We didn't have to solve anything here, we just had to graph it. So let's look at a new inequality. We're going to look at, here we go, we're going to look at um, 3 is less than 4x, 4x, 4x plus 1, which is less than or equal to 9. So we have three parts of this compound inequality. We have the first part, which is 3 second part, which is 4x plus 1, and the third part, which is 9. And it's separated by two inequality sign. We have less than or equal to and less than here. So we need to solve this inequality for x. Just like you would solve an equation for x, we want to solve this inequality. So we need to get x by itself. And just like in a regular equation, we want to, whatever we do to one side of the equation, we have to do the other. In compound inequalities, if we do it to one part of the equation, inequality, we have to do it to all the parts. So here we're going to subtract 1 as our first step, and we're going to do it to all three parts of the inequality. So we did it three times there. We know this plus 1 minus 1 cancels, and that'll leave us 4x in the center. 3 minus 1 is 2, so we have 2 is less than 4x. And then we have 4x is less than or equal to 9 minus 1, which is 8. Now we still need to get 4x by itself. So we want to divide by 4. But we need to do that on all three parts of the inequality, all three parts. So our fours in the center are going to cancel. 2 divided by 4 is 1 half, is less than x. 
which is less than or equal to 8 divided by 4 is 2. So 1 half is less than x, which is less than or equal to 2, is the solution to our equation. Now we want to graph that. So let's draw on our number line. Draw on our number line. And label it. 0, 1, 2, 3. And we're going to color it in in teal. Nice and bright. So, of course, we have 1 half is less than x, so we're going to draw an open circle at 1 half because that's not colored in. Less than, not less than or equal to, open circle. And we're going to draw another circle at 2, but this one is going to be colored in because it's less than or equal to 2. And then now we just draw a line on the number line in between our two dots representing the solution set. And we're done. Check. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a problem for you to work on by yourself. So here's the problem. I'd like you to copy it down in your notes just like I wrote it. 8 is less than or equal to 5 minus 3x, mm, which is less than 11. So I'm going to give you 30 seconds to work on this partner problem with your partner. Please try and solve for x within the inequality. 30 seconds, go ahead. Okay, good job. So now I'm going to quickly solve this equation. Follow along what I, with what I do and see if you did the same thing. Our first step we need to get three. We need to get three x by itself. So our first step is going to be subtracting five from both sides of the equation. I'm sorry, from all three sides of the inequality. Eight minus five is three, which is less than or equal to negative three x, which is less than eleven minus five is six. Our next stop, step is to divide by negative 3. We want to get x by itself. But remember, 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 you have to switch your sign or switch the inequality when you divide by a negative number. Ooh, sorry. When you divide By a negative number. Okay, so now we know we divided by a negative number, so we're going to have to switch this inequality, and we're going to have to switch this inequality. So we have 3 divided by negative 3 is negative 1. Now when you just switch this, it becomes a greater than or equal to. Those negative 3's cancel out, we get x. But to switch this inequality as well, greater than or equal to 3 divided by negative 3 is negative 2. So we have negative 1 is greater than or equal to x, which is greater than negative 2. So let's graph this inequality too. I'm going to get a number line. We're going to mark it. So it's 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Draw a number line in your notebook and label it like I did mine. Graph the inequality on your number line. I'm going to give you 20 seconds to do that, and then I'll do it and you can check. Go ahead. Good job. Now follow along to see what I do to see if you did the same thing. I'm going to graph this inequality in orange. So to start, I'm going to draw a circle at negative 1 and one at negative 2. I know the circle at negative 1 is going to be filled in because it's negative 1 is greater than or equal to x. 
on negative 2, which just says x is greater than negative 2. And then I'm going to connect these two dots with a line on my number line. Now this, in a, this graph on the number line, tells me that negative 1 is greater than or equal to x, which is greater than negative 2. Good job. So now you know how to solve and graph compound and inequalities. What you should remember is... So here are some key points to maybe write down. Number one is and inequalities. Inequalities will always result in a graph like this. So you'll have two circles. They might be shaded or they might not. So I'm just going to draw those couple of lines. And then there'll be a line in between them. And then, of course, flip inequalities. If you divide, divide by a negative number, And whatever you do to one part of the inequality inequality you have to do to the others. the others. So whatever you do to one part of the inequality, you have to do to the others. So I'm just going to I'm going to get these small enough so that you can see them on one page. <coughs> there we go. Okay, so here are all three important things to remember. Please make sure you have them written down in your notes. After you finish copying these things in your notes, please raise your hand to let me know that you are finished watching the video and that you're ready to work on the practice sheets. Remember, the point of today is to become a master at this skill so that you can teach your partner this skill tomorrow. Thanks!